Hello there and welcome to the quiz show where our contestants have to fight against the hands of time. On playing for time, they haven't just got each other to compete with, they've got the clock to contend with as well. And when time caught up with us last time, Bill and Maureen, who you see there, had just started to play round two of the game. Now, Maureen Young's clock stands at 55 seconds. Bill Carter has 53 seconds on his. Bill had just won the first round with that 10 seconds to spare. That goes into the bank if he wants to play for the holiday. It's a very close match, as you can see there. So let's get down to it. Let's play for time. Which famous book was completed in the year 1086? Doomsday, Canterbury or Good News Bible? Well done. A. Montreal and Sherbrooke are both in which East Canadian province? It is Quebec, Bill. Well done, answer B. It's a time waster for you, Maureen. How many humps do six two-hump camels and 14 one-hump camels have in total? 26. 26. 12 plus 4, you didn't waste much time with that. Okay. You're back in the game, Maureen. In which year was President Nelson Mandela sworn in? It was B, 1994. Well done to you, Bill. It's a time waster, though, for you, Maureen. How many vowels are there in the word erudite? Four. There are four. E, U, I, and E. Back to multiple choice. Where is water stored in a cactus plant? Its needles, its roots, or its stem? It is its stem, Bill. Well done again, and it's another penalty for you, Maureen. Your time ticks away. If you leave the office at 4.45 p.m. and arrive home at 5.20 p.m., how long did it take you to get home? 35 minutes. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, was it? Well done. Multiple choice again. Where was the first Cricket World Cup played in 1975? Was it in the West Indies? Was it Australia? Was it England? You both went for Australia. You're both wrong. It was C, England. So it's a time waster for uh, both of you. Fingers on the buzzers to decide who gets back into the game and stop their clock ticking. What's the fourth letter? in the name of the mouse that Tom the cat always chases. Uh. Maureen? Uh. It is R. You're back in the game. Your time continues to tick away, Bill. How many letters are there in the word crusading? Nine. There are nine. Well done. In US currency, how many cents in a nickel? Five, ten, or twenty? There are not twenty. There are only five. So it's a time waster for both of you. Fingers on the buzzer. How many years and four decades plus two score? Maureen? 80. Yes, that's 40 plus 20 plus 20. You're back in the game. Your time still ticks away, Bill. How many metres are there in a quarter of a kilometre? 250. Yeah, the right question to ask a maths teacher. What is the Japanese wine sake made from? Sprites, rice or potato? You say rice, you're absolutely right. That's B. Which of the Queen's children was the first to be married? It was Princess Anne, answer A. Which of these cities is furthest south? Southampton, Reading or Bournemouth? Uh, the answer actually is Bournemouth, that's C, so it's a time waster for both of you. If London is 21 degrees centigrade and Warsaw is 6 degrees centigrade, it doesn't really matter because, <laughs> Maureen, your time has ticked away. And that really is bad news for you, Maureen, because it's two rounds in a row that you have lost to Bill. So, uh, Maureen Young from Winsford in Cheshire, we've got to say goodbye to you. You've been a great contestant. Thank you very much indeed. Thank Maureen. You. Now, Bill, good news and bad news. You've won two rounds. You've defeated Maureen. You've got six seconds up there on your clock. We're going to put that into your bank and we're going to see what the total gives us. The total gives us 16 seconds there, Bill. You, being a mathematics teacher, got to determine if 16 seconds will be enough to answer five quick-fire questions no. correctly. You don't think so? Sure, so. Just three point something seconds uh, per question. Not, not, not enough. Not quite enough. Yeah, so that means you're only left with one alternative. Yep. That is to play on. Mm. And here is your next opponent. Sue Vernal has a passion for history and reads endless factual books. Sue enjoys competing in her local pub quiz, loves reading, and finds it easy to retain and recall information. So you <laughs> sing in the church choir. Yes. Now what? What do you? What are you? I'm Te an alto. Alto. Yeah. Alto. 
Could yeah. you go deeper than an alto? One? Yes, I can sing bass if need be, but... Oh, really? Yes. Okay. And where is your church? <laughs> it's St Cuthbert's, Billingham. Okay, Billingham, that's in the northeast. that's near yeah. Middlesbrough. Okay, yeah. you're very welcome to our little show, Sue. You know all about it, you know the rules. Mm, yeah. Bill's your opponent, he's taking the long road to a holiday. You can stop him if you get there first. So let's get down to it, let's play for time. <laughs> It's multiple choice, 60 seconds on each of your clocks. A, B or C is what I am looking for. Here we go, the best of two rounds. Who in 1965 said, I never forget a face, but I'll make an exception in your case. It was C, Groucho Marx, well done. Which Italian actress won a Best Actress Oscar in 1960 for her role in Two Women? It was not Gina Lola Brigida or Isabella Rossellini, it was Sophia Loren. And that means it's a time waster question for both of you, so it's fingers on the buzzer to decide who gets back into the game. How many syllables are there in the word perpendicular? Bill? Five. There are five. Bill, you're back in there. Your clock continues to tick away, Sue. How many days are there in 11 weeks? 77. 77, that's Sorry. right. Your clock stops there. 11 by 7, 77. OK, you do need to press now because it's A, B or C. What nationality was the film director Ingmar Bergman? Was he American, Swedish or German? Swedish is right, that's answer B. Including the white ball, how many balls are there in a game of snooker? 15, 22 or 25? The answer is neither of those. It's the one in the middle. It's uh, 22. And that's a time waster question as your penalty for both of you. If you enter a restaurant at 1.15 p.m. and spend an hour and 25 minutes there, when do you leave? <laughs> Bill? 1.40. No, 2.40, Bill. So, Sue's back in the game and your clock continues to tick away. How many letters are there in the word warrant? Seven. There are seven, Bill. We can stop your clock there. It's multiple choice again. What's the name of Tony Blair's oldest son? The answer is B. Ewan. Which motorway connects Birmingham and Exeter? M5, M20 or M40? The answer is right, Bill, for you, the M5. It's a penalty for you then, Sue. Allergy is an anagram of what word describing a display of art? Gallery. It is. Well done. Very well worked out there. Hardly any time <laughs> wasted on that. The constellation Cassiopeia resembles which letter of the alphabet? And it's answer C, the letter W. Which is the USA's oldest university? Yale, Princeton or Harvard? You both think it's Yale. It's You're not. both wrong. <laughs> there you are. You would have, if you had a second go, Sue, so you would have known that. It is Harvard. The penalty, a time waster. Fingers on the buzzers. What day is it? 36 hours after 9 a.m. on Saturday. So, it is, Sue? Monday. No. It is Sunday, so Bill is back in the game there. How many weeks, Sue, are there in half a year? 26. Yes, yeah, so that was much more simple than you, yeah. than you thought. You were expecting something. <laughs> is it, where's the catch in this? <laughs> hey, well, that's not too bad. Multiple choice. What is a rutabaga? Is it a fruit, flower or vegetable? Uh, Bill, you're right. It's a vegetable. It's a cabbage family root vegetable. It is not a fruit. You're back to the time waster, Sue. How many vowels are there in the word placebo? Three. Three. A, E and O. A, B and C. The production of which gas is mostly responsible for the greenhouse effect? Out of time again, Sue. Where does that time go? Wherever it is, it's gone. It's gone from you, Sue. You've lost the first round. It's gone to Bill. Very advantageous to you, Bill. Twelve more seconds. Let's have a wee look at that piggy bank of yours and see what the total is. We're up to 28 seconds. That's looking more respectable. You think that would be enough? No. No, probably not. Probably not. Might be there, thereabouts. You've got to get five questions right in uh, 28 seconds. If, of course, that's assuming, that you win this next round. But uh, your little bank account looking much more healthy. Sue, your mission? To stop them. You've got to win this one, Sue, to stay in the game. The clocks have been reset at 60 seconds. It's game on again. A, B or C? On which continent is Serbia? Mm. Yeah, both had to think about that. It's actually Asia. Bill is absolutely right there, and it's a time waster for you. Subtract the number of letters in the alphabet, Sue, from the number of years in three decades. Four. Yeah, 30 minus 26, that gives you four. Well done. 
Which band opened 1985's legendary Live Aid concert at Wembley? Was it Status Quo, was it Queen, or was it the Boomtown Rats? Now, do you know that for fact, your answer there? Bill? No. It was, it was Status Quo. Now, Sue, we sing you a tune, a time waster question. Here we go. Multiply the number of years of bad luck for breaking a mirror by the number of legs on an octopus. What do you get? 56. You do. You get 7 by 8, 56. Well done to you. A, B or C? Which of the BBC radio stations is broadcast on 88 to 90.2 FM? Radio 1, Radio 2 or Radio 4? Do you both listen to it? No. <laughs> radio 4. Well, why would you know that? Because it's not Radio 4. Yeah. Right, so there you are. So it's not Radio 4. Well, that's process of elimination, I think we call that. Answer B. What's the capital of the American state of Kentucky? Montgomery, Frankfurt, Louisville. Both on A, both wrong. The answer's <laughs> Frankfurt. Time waster, fingers on the buzzers for both of you. If you have a 40-minute lunch break, which starts at 1.15, when does it end? Sue? 1.55. It does. You're back in the game, and it's another time waster for you, Bill. How many minutes are there in two and a half hours? 150. 150. Well done. Back in the game. In which of the following films did Sylvester Stallone star? Independence Day, Rocky or Terminator? He did. Rocky, well done. How many paintings did Vincent van Gogh sell in his lifetime? He did. One. Answer B. How many bottles equate to Jeroboam? Two, four or six? The answer is B, four. So a uh, time waster for you there, Sue. How many syllables are there in the word curriculum? Four. Right, well done. We'll stop your clock there. Which country is the largest in the world? Is it China, USA or Russia? It is neither of those. It is Russia. And that's another time-wasting question. If you were born on the 2nd of June 1954, how old would you be in years on the 3rd of June 1999? Bill. 45. 45. Very well done. Very, very well done, Bill. 14 seconds on Bill's clock, 10 seconds on Sue's clock. Sue, you've got to win this one. Remember, plate is an anagram of what word describing part of a plant? P-L-A-T-E. I've gone blank. Petal. Well done, well done. <laughs> Multiple choice, A, B or C. The 1976 Summer Olympic Games held where? Moscow. Just for interest, <laughs> Montreal. B, Montreal there. Not only are you out of time, you're out of luck as well, Sue, because Never that's mind. the end of the road um, for you. But you've been a great contestant from the North East, Sue Vernal. Thank you very much, indeed, Sue. Thank you, Sue. Great having you here. And Bill, oh, let's see what we're going to do now. We're going to take your 13 seconds. We're going to put it into that bank of yours. And there's a tidy little sum building up there. 41 seconds. The question is, is 41 seconds enough? Eight seconds per question. Mm, you have a That's little a think about time. that. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a serious thing because if you don't go for it, you're going to have to face another opponent. I'm not saying you're not up to that, but it, uh, it'll, it'll be tough because all opponents are good. And uh, let's, to help you decide, have a look at the next opponent, the person you'll face. Peter McCulpher attends up to three pub quizzes a week. He loves factual books, especially history and science, and is a keen amateur astronomer. Okay, that's Peter looking mean and moody yeah. there. What are you going to do, Bill? Play Peter for extra time. You're going to play Peter because you want to be confident to having that extra time, yeah. and you're just right, um, Bill. Here we go. Well, let's do it all again. Let's uh, play for time. Yeah. yeah, roll them up, roll them up. Peter McCulfer from Middlesbrough. Is anybody going to stop Bill going on this holiday? He, he takes his You're the third opponent he's had, you know that? Yeah, yeah. that's a record. Do you know that? Bill? No, I didn't. Yeah, no. well, that's, that's it. You just wade through them there. Now, Peter, you're from Middlesbrough, as I say. What do you work at? I work for the uh, local, local authority, Middlesbrough Council. Yeah, McCulph is a, an interesting name. C-U-L-P-H-A. Where does that come from? I've been told it's Scandinavian. Well, you see, I would, I would take his word for it. That's excellent. Right, here we go. Multiple choice. You know what we're doing here. We've got those 60 seconds on the clock. Will Bill be going on holiday? Is Peter the man to stop him? We're on our way to find out. Round one, off we go. A, B or C. Which of the following Steven Spielberg films was released first? E.T., Raiders of the Lost Ark, or Jaws? Well, 
You're right with Jaws. 1975 was the year. Uh, E.T. wasn't released until 1982 there, Bill, but uh, I think you twigged on to that one, didn't you, yeah. after, after a bit of thought? Now, because you didn't get that one, Bill, you face a time waster question. You know the score. Your clock ticks away. How many millimetres are there in half a metre? 500. There are 500 millimetres. We stop your clock there. Back to the head-to-head. -head. Which word taken from Greek legend means to love oneself? Nepotism, eroticism, narcissism. Yeah, you're both confident with that. You're both right. If my birthday is May the 30th, which it's not if you want to write in and send me presents, what is my star sign? It is. It's Gemini B. Which year was Albert Einstein born? 1790, 1800 or 1879? Both right with C. What's the smallest U.S. state, Maine, Rhode Island or Vermont? It is B, Rhode Island. Good scoring. Who was the last Russian monarch? Nicholas II, Alexander II or Catherine II? It was Nicholas II. Well done, Peter. It's a time waster for you, Bill. How many vowels are there in the word literature? Five. There are five. We stop your clock. Well done. Including zero, how many numbers are there on a roulette wheel? 37, 47 or 57? Wrong, Peter. There are 37. Bill is right, so it's a time waster for you. What's 15 multiplied by 8? 90. No, it's 120. So your clock ticks away. If the time is 3.32 a.m., how many minutes have there been in the day so far? Two hundred and two. Two hundred and twelve. Close there, Peter. What do the Roman numerals V, X, and C equal when added together? V, X, C. One hundred and fifteen. That's right. We stop your clock there. Right. That was um, a lot of time you lost there. You're down to nine seconds. You know that. Bill's sitting on twenty-seven. Back to multiple choice. In which year did Elvis die? 67, 77 or 80? Straight in there, Peter. You were absolutely right. It's a penalty for you, Bill. Time waster. Multiply the number of original musketeers by Henry VIII's wives. 18. That's right. Three by six. A, B or C. In which county did the Battle of Naseby take place? Leicestershire, Bedfordshire, Buckinghamshire. It was Leicestershire. Well done. Who was the first footballer to receive a knighthood? Was it Bobby Charlton, Stanley Matthews or George Best? It was Stanley Matthews. Another penalty for you, Bill. If it's minus four degrees centigrade and it rises by nine degrees, what's the new temperature? Plus five. Plus five. Minus four, plus nine. Well done. Which of the following is a fossil fuel? Too late to find out because you're out of time, Peter. The answer was C, coal. Very, very close. Only six seconds left in Bill's clock, but that was enough. Round one goes to Bill. Your bank of time gets bigger, Bill. Let's find out what it is. OK, that'll be enough. That'll be yeah. enough, of course, if you yeah. win this round, Bill. Peter, to stay in, you've got to stop him. 60 seconds. Let's reset those clocks. Multiple choice, A, B or C. Which British actress won a Best Supporting Oscar in 1999 despite appearing in the film Shakespeare in Love for less than eight minutes? It was C, Dame Judi Dench. In Hinduism, what is a rishi, a saint, a type of food or spiritual cleansing? The answer is A, Bill. Well done. It's a penalty for you, Peter. How much time has elapsed between midday and 20 minutes before midnight? No, 11 hours and 40 minutes, so your time ticks away. What do you get if you add together the number of legs on a spider, a human, and a horse? 14. 14. 8 plus 2 plus 4. We stop your clock there at 31 seconds. 31 plays 49. We're back to multiple choice. On the London Underground map, what colour is the northern line? Red, black, or green? It is black. Vulcan was the Roman god of the sea, fire, or war? It was fire. B. How many books are there in the New Testament? 27, 30, or 37? Bill, you're right with uh, 27, so that's a time waster for you, Peter. Peter, what is the next prime number after 13? 17. It is 17. Well done. We stop your clock. 
20 seconds remaining for you, Peter. 41 seconds for you, Bill. That's how close it is. Bill trying to get this holiday after three opponents. Who was the founder of the National Health Service? C. Bevan, well done. In which country is the volcano Kilimanjaro? Is it in Tanzania, Madagascar, or Zimbabwe? It is in Tanzania. Bran Ferry was the leader of the 1970s glam rock band. What was it called? Bill? It was Roxy Music. Wrong answer. So it's a penalty for you, Bill. You get a parking ticket for £30 and incur £3 per week interest for five weeks. How much do you pay? £45. Pounds. 45 30 plus 15. We stop your clock there. We're back to multiple choice. If you were facing the front of a ship, where is starboard? Straight ahead, to the left or to the right? It's to the right. Answer C. Who was the first man to reach the South Pole? Amundsen is uh, right. Which fruit is malice more commonly known as? It is the apple. Answer B. In terms of area, what's the largest region of Scotland? The Highlands, Strathclyde or Grampian? It is the Highlands. Answer A. Which children's television programme finished with the song, Time to Go Home? Oh, ho, ho. Time to Go Home, Andy Pandy, of course, which is option A. Many of us uh, remember that. And Peter, it's time for you to go home. <laughs> Beaten there, and he's done it again. Bill has done it. It's, it's great, just by the skin of your teeth, another small margin, but it's all added up over three opponents, and you're the third one to fall foul of him. He is some gladiator, isn't he, Peter? Sure is. He wore you away. I hope you've enjoyed playing. I hope, yes. Peter McCulpha, thank you very much indeed for playing. Thank you. <laughs> Bill. Let's mm -hmm. see. Surely at last we're going on a holiday. Let's see. 55 seconds. We're going to try to go on a holiday. You're going to try to. Five questions in 55 seconds, okay? Yeah. And that works okay. out, Mr. Maths teacher, at? 11 seconds. 11 seconds per question. Now, I know you like to do things slowly okay. but surely, but you'll have to do this a little bit quickly because that's all that's going to be on the clock, yes. okay? So, at long last, Bill Carter from Wallasey in Merseyside, we are playing for time away. I suppose the first thing we better do, Bill, is find out where you're going to. Mm. And you get a choice from this little set of options. Brussels, Naples or Athens. Now, take your time, I know you normally mm. do, and uh, just choose one of those. What do you think? Athens. Athens. Yeah, a bit of consideration there. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, why not? Why not? That sounds good. As good as any there. Right. Athens will be your destination. 55 seconds on the clock. Five questions you've got to get right. 11 seconds on average per question. I'll do my best to speed through these. If you feel you don't know an answer, just say pass. We can pass through these at this stage, okay? Yes. We're all with you, Bill. Good luck to you. When referring to electricity, DC stands for what? Direct current. That's one answer. What animal is the largest land mammal? Elephant. Two. Which famous Hollywood 1930s child star later became an ambassador? Shirley Temple. She did. That's three. What establishment is sometimes referred to as the Old Lady of Thread Needle Street? Bank of England. Absolutely right. That's four. 32 seconds left. What is Russia's space station called? Pass. Mir, who composed The Marriage of Figaro? Mozart. You're off to Athens, Bill. <laughs> it took a while, didn't it? It, did, it, it did. took a while. Thank you very much. I'm really glad you got it. Really, really, so really glad right. you got it. And do you know what? You didn't need all that extra time. No. Look, 21, 21 seconds, seconds hanging yeah. about there. Better but, safe uh, than sorry. Yeah. But you've beaten more <laughs> opponents than <laughs> anyone else oh, on playing for that's time. That's nice to know. So it's some <laughs> achievement, Bill. You can uh, retire happy Happily with that knowledge. And uh, it's been a joy having you here. Bill Carter. Thank you. <laughs> well, I suppose we've got time to meet two new opponents. Ian Otley used to write pub quiz questions. He's a great memory for dates and he's a fan of virtually every sport. He also likes browsing through an atlas. Tell us what you do. I'm a CCTV operator for South Yorkshire Police. There's a lot of debate about these cameras, whether they actually work. I mean, what would you say about them? Uh, they're very, very successful. I, I think it's the future of policing. That's the way it is, the future there. Right, I'll tell you the future now. 
you're going to play four time against this person. Scott Taylor is a former pub quiz master. He even went to the same school as William Shakespeare. And over the years, he's notched up over £750 in quiz prize money. Uh, you're a sales manager, you sell mobile phones. Yeah. What's the future of mobile phones? Well, I don't think we'll be able to function really without them at some point. Mm. Order our groceries. Whatever you want. Yeah, book your holidays, all that sort of thing. Yeah, you'll not be able to play for time on them, that's for sure. And that's what we're going to do right now. Just to remind you, uh, this is our first round. We're going to play two multiple choice uh, rounds and uh, we'll see who gets the better of those. 60 seconds on the clock there. As soon as you get a question right, uh, your clock stops. If you don't, you go to a time waster situation. You don't really want to do that because that can just fritter away that hard earned time. So here we go. A, B or C. Which was the first country to have railways? Was it Germany, the UK or the USA? It was the UK and the year was, anybody know? 1825. There we go. Just for a bit of extra there. Which motorway connects London and Southampton? The M3, the M4, the M40. Ian, you're absolutely right. It is the M3. So it's a time waster for you, Scott. You're going to experience one of these. If the sun rises at 5.30 a.m. and it sets 15 hours later, when does it set? Half past 11. No, half past eight in the evening, so your time keeps on ticking away. How many vowels are there in the word vulgarity? Four. Three, U, A and I. What's the fifth letter in the name of the girl who met the Wizard of Oz? H. No, T. Dorothy was her name. How many R's are there in 150 minutes? Two and a half. Two and a half. 150 divided by 60, two and a half, and we stop your clock there. So that was a big drain of time there. Multiple choice, A, B, or C. Who was the 18th century founder of the Methodist Church? It was John Wesley. Answer, C. How is a crane fly more commonly known? A daddy long legs, a butterfly, or a dragon fly? You're both right, a daddy long legs. A. Which two metals are mixed to make brass? Copper and nickel, copper and zinc, or copper and tin? The answer is B. Copper and zinc. For which book did William Golding win the Booker Prize in 1981? Both wrong. It was rites of passage. Answer B. That means you both face a time waster question. Fingers on the buzzer to find out who gets back into play. If A equals 1 and B equals 2, what does Z plus E equal? In? 31. 31. 26 plus 5. Well worked out. Your time still takes away, Scott. How many metres are there in 2.5 kilometres? 2,500. That's right. Stop your clock there. We're back to multiple choice. What was the English nickname of King Richard I? It was the Lionheart, option A. If you were born on June the 8th, what star sign would you be? You would be a Gemini. Obviously, neither of you two are, I can assume from that. No. Right, so that's another time waster you have to face. If you start playing squash at 10 past 2 in the afternoon and finish an hour and 18 minutes later... Wes? 28 minutes past 3. You do. You finish at 3.28 p.m. That was very well done, Scott. So it means your time still ticks away, in, But my time's ticked away before yours has. 35 seconds left in your clock, 8 seconds in your clock. We are going to resume the game exactly where we left it there. The next time we play for time. Hope we'll see you there. Bye-bye. Thank you.